That team coverage of the storm that's caused a lot of headaches. Let's start with 10 News reporter Mimi Alcala in the Tijuana River Valley, where a road has been flooded for hours. Mimi? And Derek, Lindsay, the water has receded quite a bit, but drivers are still going through it right now. It is still unsafe at this point. You can even see someone down there actually paddling around, having some fun with this flooding. Now, there are also many ranches in this area full of horses, and today one of those horses actually came to the rescue. I mean, we got a lot of sand. We tried to build the property up and, and stuff, but there's not really much you can do. It's Mother Nature, you know. And Mother Nature is causing quite a bit of problems as floodwaters turn dry land into pools. Every winter, the same thing down here. So, but specifically this year because we just don't have a break. This is a look at Hollister Street near Monument Road in the Tijuana River Valley. People who have horses in the area, like Dorter Drescher, prepared by building up their properties with sand to keep the water out and away from their animals. Ground is saturated, so. And it always, it always collects right here, but it's much worse than it usually is. So bad that a FedEx driver got stuck on the flooded road while trying to make a delivery at a nearby ranch. The driver tells me he was stranded for about 45 minutes, but luckily a man on a horse came to the rescue, pulling the driver onto the horse, bringing him to safety. Over in Bonita, a golf course was pretty much underwater. What's normally a green grassy area was a soggy lake Thursday. The rain causing rivers and creeks to overflow across the county. In Spring Valley, road close signs popped up once again on Quarry Road. And this isn't the end. Although the worst of the storm is over, more flooding is still possible as showers continue through the night. We love this area down here. It's beautiful like 10 months out of the year. And this is when it's, this is the price we pay. And there have been quite a few close calls here today. A reminder that it only takes about 12 inches of rushing water to carry away most cars and two feet for SUVs and trucks. We're live in the Tijuana River Valley. Mimi Alcala, 10 News. Thank you, Mimi.